here today to celebrate a fantastic accomplishment. This facility behind me here today, it's a $28 million investment by the province of British Columbia and the first Canada and Geocycle Canada. And it allows us to replace our fossil fuels that we use to make cement here with low carbon fuel alternatives. And that's going to lower our carbon intensity from this plant by 20% and maybe even higher. It will make this plant the lowest carbon intensity plant in Canada. We're on a journey to reduce our carbon emissions across the globe by 40%, and in Canada, we're well on our way to achieving that potentially by 2020. We've begun to recognize that we need to replace our fossil fuels with lower carbon fuels. So some of those fuels might be plastics, which are about 20% lower carbon intensity than coal. Some of it might be construction and demolition wood, which is essentially carbon neutral because it's bi biogenic carbon. These cement plants were built to use coal, that coke. Replacing them with cleaner fuels like we are today reduces our other emissions as well. Celebrating with us today are a number of important stakeholders in this organization. Some of them are the companies that help build this wonderful facility. Some of them are the, the people who are providing us the fuel. Some are from the province of British Columbia, including the Minister of Environment to recognize their contribution towards this project. We also have representatives from the City of Richmond, the Council of Richmond, as well as Metro Vancouver. Welcome to our plant. This is a great plant here in Richmond. We're very proud of it. You know, this, this facility has been operating in Western Canada for over 60 years. Uh, one of the uh, original plants built by Lafarge in Canada from scratch. You know, uh, one of the things that uh, this plant continues to do is look at innovation, how we inaugurate low carbon fuels into the system and, and make it a world-class plant. The partnership between Lafarge and the British Columbia government has brought this uh, project to fruition and we're very thankful for that active participation. I think uh, Lafarge is a, is a sterling example of what industry can do in British Columbia when industry turns its mind to becoming cleaner, to finding solutions to problems that we all face, adopting cleaner fuels, and incenting innovative technologies, and then using innovative technologies. And so in addition to our, the benefits reducing our carbon footprint, a lot of these materials uh, have been used in society and are now at the end of their useful life. What do you do with these materials? Do you send them to landfill? These are wonderful resources for us. We can use it to make cement and build highways, build hospitals, universities and make use of this material that would otherwise have been in landfill. We think of these projects as examples of circular economy solutions. So it's an ongoing process that we are involved in where materials are not going into landfill, coal is staying in the mines, and we're building a product that builds our community. It's just one more example of Lafarge building better cities.